Hello friends, today the new version of the realistic vision is released, the name is version 3 and also it has VAE embedded, it's very important and the quality is very high. I did some tests on realistic vision and you can find my test here in the first page. These are my tests and I figure out it has very very good consistency and I like that for architectural design prompting. Okay, uh, now I want to focus and review the new version and also I want to show you how you can use the high risk fix method in Comfy UI. Okay, so in Comfy UI now I'm going to work with the default nodes. By the way, myself, I'm working with efficiency nodes, but this time I want to show you that how you can use the default nodes and make high risk fix and also using the realistic vision version three. Okay. At first I have to load the checkpoint realistic vision version three. And also it's very important because it has the VAE inside and merge it in the checkpoint. Okay. Now I have to write my prompt. Already I have my prompt from the morning and I want to use that. Okay. Let me adjust my resolution. And for the sampling, DPM plus plus to M and the uh, Keras. Okay, let's start queue, and you can see the process. The quality and the consistency inside the image is very better, and really I like the result. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's very nice, and also you can see my prompt. I wrote about the living room, curvy wall, futuristic style, design, lighting, golden light, bokeh, pool and maybe this time i have to increase the width of the living room mm -hmm. and here again you can see the living room with the pool and i like the consistency because it's very really important to place the sailing, connect the walls, and place the furniture in correct positions uh, with the first try. And really, it's very cool. So uh, now uh, I want to make a high risk fix. Okay. And if you go to the realistic vision, I will place the link in the description. You can find this link, okay? From this link, you will go to the high um, hugging phase and you should download the 4X Ultra Sharp. They suggested us to work with this method for using in high risk fix. Okay, now what should I or what can I do? with Comfy UI to make the high res fix and make image in higher resolution. Okay, at first I need another case sampler. I prefer to copy from this one. Okay. This is my case sampler. I press and control C and after that control shift V. Okay, and here you can see that I have the uh, wires connected to my 
inputs, it's very important because it will make easy for me. <laughs> it can make it a very easy way for me. And just I have to connect the latent to latent image. But before connecting the latent to latent image, I have to obfuscate the latent. Okay, so excuse me. I have to connect the latent to latent upscale by. And with this node, you can upscale your latent with a ratio. For example, 1.5. And in realistic vision, they have suggested us to do the upper scale between 1.1 to up to the 2. Okay. And the denoise string should be about uh, 0 0.25 up to 0 0.45. So here is my input, and this is the need denoise string. Excuse me, there was an error in recording and one more time I want to explain important parameters to you and after that uh, you will see the video excuse me for that but uh, take a look it's very important from first case sampler the data will be exported to the VAE decode from the VAE decode it will be an image the image go to this node upscale image and after that you will load your upscale model after that, it's going to upscale image. We are resizing the image down. And it is going to the VAE encode and it's coming to K sampler. Again, after that, from the latent, we have to create a VAE decode and connect the VAE from this point to this point and at the save image node. Uh, it's all and continue the video. Thank you. When the image is going to this node with this upscale method, the size is very high. And again, I am trying to resize the image to a lower size. And this is the final size that I want. And the final image will go to the VA encode. And after that, it can go to the case sampler. And in case sampler, it can start the process. So I am going to start the process. It's finished. You can see that it is going to these nodes. And after that, you can see it here. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. You can see that, that this image is in very high quality. Mm -hmm. Yes, really the quality of the output is very good about the contrast, everything. Everything in this image is very good. And you can see that I didn't use any additional VAE. I didn't use any LoRa. And this is, I think this is the power of the realistic vision. And with this upscale method or high risk fix, you can get a great result. And in Comfy UI, it is possible to make the high risk fix for several time. Okay, let me show you. This time, the resolution of this image is, uh, you can't see, let me make my window smaller, okay? 1200 in 1200, okay? And again, I want to make another high res fix to make a 4K image, okay? For example, I have to select all these nodes. Mm -hmm. Let me select them. Control C and Control Shift V. Okay. 
I have them. And here, from the latent, I have to connect the... Oh, excuse me. From my VAED code, I have to connect the VAED code to the upscale image. And after that, write the final resolution. For example, 2048 in 2048. And every other thing could be same. And again, Q prompt. Okay. It is going to make the first image. After that, it is going to the upscale method. Okay. The higher resolution image is started in processing. Mm -hmm. Now we have the image in higher resolution, 1200 in 1200. Again, we sent the image to another upscale method with the size of 2048 and 2048. It's in VAED code. Uh, when the size uh, of the when when you are increasing the size of your image, after that it will use lots of VRAM and also lots of RAM on your computer. Uh, totally, maybe you can think that 2048 in to, in 2048 is not a big image, but for AI today it's a big size. I am sure in the early future, everything will be changed and easily we can generate this resolution without any high res method. But uh, now we don't have any choice and we should try to work with this workflow and try to learn the AI. And when something comes, with easier workflow after that we can use that okay so let me arrange the photos okay from left to right ah uh, you can see that my screen had uh, i had some lag on my screen okay this was the first image with uh, lower resolution this is the second image with some higher resolution and here better you can see the textures and some details and here is the highest resolution and in some uh-huh okay we have that and you can see that after three level of high res fix we have this image let me open that in browser and this is actual size yes this is actual size without any zoom and it's very interesting yes it's very very interesting and also again you can add one other high res fix level and again you for example four times six times seven times and also there are some method for caching the latent and also they are very useful but they will be some advanced it is some advanced workflow but in this uh, video i tried to explain you how you can use the upscale method or high res fix okay it's a high res fix in comfy ui and how you can use the realistic vision vae with vae because it has the vae embedded and i want to show you that 
what is the high quality of the realistic vision it's all uh, hope to see you soon with the next video for the next video i want to discuss about the LoRa and some other methods like hyper networks um, negative embedding or some other tricks that maybe we can use them in architectural workflow uh hope to see you bye